Let us discuss about comparison between overhead versus underground distribution system. In the last session, we discussed about comparison between primary and secondary distribution system in unit 2. Now we go for comparison between overhead and underground system. The transmission and distribution of electric power can be direct overhead as well as underground system. Both we are following in India. One is overhead and underground distribution will be. The comparison between overhead and underground systems are like this. We take in one description after that uh, overhead system, underground system. In so many aspects, we are compared overhead and underground. Public safety, first important, uh, first point is the public safety is more in underground system because all the electric cables or lines distribution lines will be in in the form of cables in the underground system public safety will be more for underground system but less safer than underground system because overhead lines having conductors if any overhead line conductor fallen down it may be suffer from electric shock that is safety is less in case of overhead system what is the initial cost Initial cost regarding underground and overhead system. Initial cost is less in overhead system and initial cost is more expensive it is because uh, we have to dig the channel after that we have to construct the cables, we have to place the cables after that we have to provide insulation all this. Therefore underground system is costlier. How much it is costlier means uh, 10 times more costlier it is overhead system. Coming to third point, what is the flexibility? It is a difficult flexibility. It is less flexibility. It is more flexible because overhead system is more flexible than underground system because new conductor can be laid along the existence line easily. But in case of uh, underground system, if you want to place another conductor, some other cables, we have to dig the channel again. We have to. It is very difficult to go to remodel this that is flexibility is less in case of or underground system coming to working voltage it can be desired up to 400 kilo volts overhead system is underground system cannot be operated above 66 kV because of insulation difficulties that means uh, overhead system can be operated 400 kilo volts because uh, between lines uh, we can provide more gap therefore insulation can be increased but in underground it is very difficult to provide insulation for underground system because the 66 kV work mathrame underground system work through but more than 66 kV outdoor system and uh, that is overhead system we are using now another top another aspect or description is charging current less charging current as the space between conductors are more in case of overhead conductors charging currents are less less spacing due to the conductors inside of a channel underground system the cable have much capacitance so draw high current charging current high charging current coming to frequency of accidents or falls what are the occurrence of falls in case of a overhead system underground system it is uh, totally enclosed in a chamber or dig channel hence it is underground very few chances of falls compared to overhead system in overhead system more frequency of accidents because of it is subjected to environment and the all the lines or transmission lines or distribution lines are exposed to environment hence more number of falls may be occur or frequency of accidents or falls will be more in overhead system interference with the communication circuits what is the interference with the communication circuits overhead system and underground system more interference for in communication lines because of power lines are outdoor hence the more interference with the communication circuits less interface with the interference with the communication circuits in case of uh, over underground system if any fault occur in overhead system or underground system how to recover how to identify it is very difficult in case of underground fault location and repair identification also simple difficult but ease of fault location you can easily identify where the fault occur that is the major difference between overhead versus underground ikkada fault ochindi easy kanukochu ikkada fault ekkada ochindi kanukodam kashtam because 
it is very difficult to locate the fault and it is repair is difficult because of that it is inside untu kabatti lopala fault ekkada ochina mana kanukodam koncham tough ga untundi coming to appearance aspect good looking because no wiring is visible hence it is adopted modern cities in so towns and cities we can adopt this good looking and smart cities we can adopt this in case of uh, overhead system wiring is visible hence appearance is not so good coming to voltage drop because of less spacing between conductors inductance is very low as compared to overhead line voltage drop is less in case of underground system voltage drop is more because of inductance effect on the conductors inductance is more compared to underground line voltage drop is more in case of overhead system this is the comparison between overhead versus underground system let us discuss what is the comparison between ac distribution versus dc distribution electrical power comparison between ac and dc distribution how to compare this we will discuss now electrical power cannot be can be transmitted and distributed in ac and dc but uh, both systems have so many advantages so many disadvantages now the first we go for disadvantages after that what are the disadvantages of dc distribution if you know the dc distribution advantage that is the disadvantage for ac distribution if you know the disadvantages of dc distribution that is the advantage for ac distribution first we go for advantage of dc distribution on the transmission number of conductors required is only two the max the minimum is only one is required that is the number of conductors in dc system requires only two conductors and minimum number of conductors is only one because ground written path is is used ikkada oka conductor minimum okati maximum rendu vaadukochu dc three wire system unte three wires unte but minimum oka conductor tone dc transmission distribution cheyachu ante plus maatrame negative ground ga act avutadi ground no negative ga act chesukochu next ikkada frequency undadu kabatti greater power power conductor as full cross section of the conductor is utilized for dc dc anedi frequency undadu kabatti total conductor utilize chestundi hence greater power per conductor ఒక్క చిన్న కండక్టర్ టోటల్ కండక్టర్ అదే ఏసీ అయితే ఓన్లీ అవుట్ సైడ్ మాత్రమే పవర్ ఫ్లో ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది కరెంట్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే స్కిన్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అయినా ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి ఏసీ అయితే లెస్ పవర్ పర్ కండక్టర్ బట్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ డీసీ వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ డీసీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ దట్ ఈస్ ద డిస్అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఏసీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ నో ద అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ డీసీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ యూ క్యాన్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఏసీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ దీస్ ఆర్ no inductance capacitance and phase differences you know that in is in dc there is no inductance because the frequency is zero no capacitance in case of uh, dc and phase difference also there due to this voltage drop is less compared to ac therefore voltage regulation of dc system is good coming to what is the ad advantages of dc distribution another one is no skin effect what is skin effect skin effect means the conductor for fully not utilized it will be out conductor or charge will be appear surface of the conductor that is the skin effect there is no skin effect in case of uh, dc distribution transmission and uh, cross sectional area also less required less insulation is required for dc system because less potential stress that is 1 by root 2 in case of ac system for same working voltages dc system requires less insulation as potential stress is stress is 1 by root 2 in ac system for some working voltages therefore price of cable is low there is no corona loss corona is the one of the property in case of ac less as corona loss is less very low in case of dc system disadvantages of dc transmission let us discuss now compared to complicated converters because the converters uh, design is very complicated in case of dc switch gear also less expensive this switch gear for uh, dc that is one of the disadvantages dc voltage cannot be stepped up the transformer worked on dc quantity the dc voltage cannot be stepped up 
if you want to step up this dc voltage we have to convert into ac after that again we are using transformer in ac after that uh, that voltage has to be converted into rectifier there are so many converters required in case of uh, dc this is another disadvantage reactive power converters requires considerable reactive powers filters harmonic filters are general required for dc hence uh, filters costlier for dc the transmission and distribution and these are the disadvantages of dc transmission failure of converters that is also one of the disadvantages converters do not have overload capability and failure may be more in case of dc transmission and then distribution hence converter facility is less change of voltage level also it is not possible in case of dc transmission that is another disadvantage